So picture this. You are having another horrible day at school. You've been there for eight hours, and it started off with your crazy English teacher touching you with her little baby hands that she thinks are so funny. <laughs> then you went to athletics, okay? And your coach is having a bad day because he had a fight with his wife last night okay, because he was at the bar too long. So he sends you on three extra laps after you've already finished and he's told you to go. Then you go after school and you hang out with your girlfriend. She's mad at you because you fell asleep because you're tired while she was talking to you <clears throat> about how Becky totally stole her fashion style because she was the first one to wear the yellow scrunchie, you know. So then you get home, you are starving because you're a 17 year old metabolism machine, okay? You open the fridge, nothing, it's empty, okay? All that's left are some crumbs, maybe a little leftover keto concoction that your mom whipped up last night that you tried to stay as far away from as possible. And then you go in the pantry and you do see some tortilla chips. And you're like, man, what would go with the good with those tortilla chips? And you want something cold and creamy, something just really good, okay? That's where guacamole comes in. I'm gonna tell you how to make guacamole. It's gonna go from my mouth to your kitchen to your mouth. Why would you trust my guacamole? Well, I've been around for 17 years. That means I've been eating guacamole for about 17 years. I've been making it for about three years, so I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna have you guac in it like you talk it, just like the videos. All right, so your ingredients. All right, so avocados. This is an avocado. Looks kind of like a dinosaur egg. You're gonna need three of these. They can be any size. They can be just a little soft. You don't want them too mushy. You also don't want them really firm because then it's gonna be really hard to mash them up later. And just make sure they don't have any discolorations, no bruises, nothing like that. Kind of like any other fruit. And they're gonna be about one to five dollars depending on where you go. Uh, if you want organic ones, if you're into that, you can go to Whole Foods and that's probably gonna be near the $5 range. <clears throat> All right, so garlic. Make sure you don't have any you know, people in your family that are vampires because they will not be able to eat this. You're gonna need one head of garlic and you're gonna need two cloves from the head. So the difference between a clove and a head, the head is the big part, cloves are inside. You cut the top off and they're about six to eight cloves inside. You only need two, so you should be good. Uh, you want it as fresh as possible, so check those expiration dates. Uh, the, long, the farther away the expiration date is, obviously the, you know, the earlier they put it out there, the fresher it is. Uh, you want it to be firm, but not super hard. Again, it is a plant, so you don't want it to be a brick. You want it to feel like it was alive. Uh, and then no discolorations, <clears throat> no sprouts coming off of it because it is a root. Uh, <clears throat> then they can be in any, any size and you can usually get two or three of them like this in a bundle for about one to four dollars. Again, Whole Foods for organic. All right, and then Roma tomatoes. And these are not normal tomatoes. As you can see, it's kind of oblong like this. These are very fancy tomatoes. They come from Italy. You're gonna need two of these. They can be any size. You want them as bright as possible. And again, no discolorations. Uh, you want it to be firm, but what you can actually do is you want to be able to press in no more than about a centimeter. So you can just look in and see I can press in like just about that much, just about half a centimeter right there. And that's how you know it's good and alive. And the bigger it is, the juicier it's going to be, and the more flavor you're going to be able to add to your guacamole. Those are going to be one to four dollars. All right, then we got limes. So a lot of people think the best limes are completely green, but they're actually not. It's really good for them to have little yellow spots like this. You're just gonna need one of these. Uh, it's gonna be, again, uh, slightly soft to the touch. And then what you can do is the fingernail test, and that's where you scratch your fingernail. Okay, that'll get a little zest off of the peel. Then you smell it. If it smells citrusy, which this one does, even though it's three days old, so. Uh, if it smells citrusy, then you know you got a good lime. Uh, and it should feel heavier than it looks. That means it's got a lot of juice in it. So uh, those are going to be $1 to $5. And again, you can go to Whole, Food, Whole Foods for uh, organic limes.
All right, and then jalapenos. So this is an optional part. I know a lot of people have sensitive palates. They don't like spicy stuff, um, but you can add these if you want. Uh, they actually make orange ones, so it doesn't make, or it doesn't matter what color you get. And it typically you want them to not be just giant, but you don't want to be tiny either. But you, four to six inches is a good suggestion, but it's, you know, it's personal preference. So, and then again, one to three dollars. And then you have an onion, uh, you need one onion. Well, you really only need half, so you can just, you know, you can just cut it in half. Any size, they need to be firm, uh, and then they need to have dry, papery skin, you know, like a normal onion. And uh, you wanna make sure and remove that skin before you put it in the guacamole. All right, and then other non-fresh ingredients, you're gonna need three tablespoons of cilantro that usually comes in a little box. Uh, or if you do wanna buy it fresh, then you can cut it up, it's just, it's more work. Uh, and then you need half a tablespoon or a teaspoon of uh, sea salt. All right, into the kitchen. So this is where it really gets fun. You get your hands dirty. So you're gonna wanna pit the avocados. Basically, that just means taking the seed out. So you can cut them in half, stick the knife into the seed and just pull it right out and then scoop out the green good part with a spoon. And then you're gonna mash it up with a fork. That'll take a while, but eventually just get it from chunky to smooth. Uh, and then you're going to want to dice the tomatoes, basically just don't cut them, don't try to make them into slices, try to cut it into quarters or something like that and then cut it up. Uh, and then the onion, cut the ends off, take the peel off and dice it up like that as well. Same with the jalapeno, just cut it into, into smaller quarters or halves and cut it up. Uh, and the cilantro, if you want to go fresh, just make sure and cut off the leaves and then chop those up individually, don't get stems in there. Uh, and then you want to mince the garlic that's mincing is just a fancy word for chopping it up you know so just do the same thing there juice the lime you got to put it in the juicer and squeeze just make sure that the the circular part is facing down and then add your salt throw it all together put it in the fridge and let it chill and then serve cold and you're ready to enjoy thank you